A key problem is that the evocation of multi-sided ethnography came to be understood in a literal way as the reproduction and multiplication of sites of individual research where the modes and standards of inquiry applicable to one would be produced in each. Of course, this was open to obvious critiques of feasibility, which I anticipated in the original essay. What I was personally more interested in was how work in one place evoked often hidden roots to others precisely through the theory or concept work that the ethnographer could do with specific subjects and not others. The key informant becoming the, the term we were using, uh, epistemic partner in complicit relations. This was a construct in which I was working by the late 1990s. This is also the way that multiple scales and paths of unintended consequences were evoked, for instance, in Annette Singh's masterly work of 2005, Frictions. Um, in this trajectory, I indeed saw the multi-sided construct becoming something like the emergent connectivities and paths of recursion that were generated by collaboratively produced and distinctive ideas of ethnography emerging in the scenes of fieldwork as a technology of question asking that sent one on a trajectory, trajectory that was in fact multi-sided. What was missing was thinking about the literal forms that might materialize this sense of fieldwork process then. Changes in the way the world presents itself to ethnographers for fieldwork projects and dramatic changes in media and communication technologies have finally made the question of doing things differently with the classic method explicit and pressing. In the original multi-sided formulation, this question was not far under the surface, but it only became gradually and never clearly sayable until the present and the recent past. These then have been the major preoccupations of the center. I've mentioned collaboration. Collaboration was the first and perhaps obvious topical interest of center consideration and has been sustained, quite aside from de facto collaboration being a more or less ex explicit component of individually authored ethnogra ethnographic projects uh, from the methods of inception. Collaboration, and, and I understand this, collaboration is everywhere now a standard and a normative expression of association. It is a universal good to be promoted with very <coughs> few shadows. It is thus the practical, formal, and found entree as well as the on the ground medium of access in constituting field work amid assemblages, projects, large and small locations, sites, and places. So I see it as a very normative concept that defines the organization of research. It is both, I mean, uh, in many disciplines and at many levels, it is both the ether and cocoon of still individually conceived projects that become collaborative everywhere by push or pull. In short, collaborations are not a choice in field work. They are a condition for constituting it. Experiments within collaborations and their politics of research relations defines the degree of freedom that ethnographers can reserve to pose their own questions. In the past, I think a lot of this has been absorbed by the virtues of interdisciplinarity as the explicit expression in universities that uh, of the, the kind of collaborations that is favored. But what I'm talking about goes far beyond that kind of formulation of interdisciplinarity, talking to people in other uh, uh, academic uh, disciplines. Um, it's really participating in kind of global assemblages as they're constituted by various kinds of political and economic powers in the world. Uh, and you wind up, of course, very located in, in specific places with specific roles. But the context in which you're located is in some project of collaboration. <coughs>